Hindi, yung pagkain na kinain nyo, na-absorb sa small intestine. Yan. Tapos nag nagpunta sa severe mystery pain. Ito sa severe mystery pain, sumama naman sa splenic pain. And when they join together, you form now here another vein. And this is another, the major blood supply of the liver. And this is water vein. Okay? Ano dinadala niya? Pagkain, nutrients. Ano dinadala dito? Oxygen. Sila, pareho, blood supply. Papunta ang dugo sa liver. Blood supply yun. Pag nagamit na ng liver ang uh, dugo, Babalik yun dito sa inferior vena cava. Pupunta yun sa inferior vena cava. Paano siya babalik ba 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 doon? You have here, hepatic veins. Tatlo sila. Right, middle, and left. These are hepatic veins. So, yung dugo, papalabas sa liver. And so, these hepatic veins are tributaries or inferior vena cava. So, if you remember before, the right side and heart failure. So, nan, nandito yung, yung heart ng pasyente. Tapos, there's something wrong with the right side of the heart. Okay. Na normally, yung dugo sa superior and clear binang haba, pabalik sa heart. So, ito pa baba. Ito pa akyat. But then, if you have right side and heart failure, ang dugo hindi na pwede ganyan. Akyat. So, you have distended neck veins. Yung dugo dito, pa baba. Ang una niya pa tahan, party bait, papunta sa liver. So, lalaki yung liver. What do you call that? Hepato, megali. Tapos, pababa doon, sa paa. You have pedal, lima. Are you following? And so, you have a a right-sided heart failure there. Okay? So, those are what? Those are hepatic veins. And then, you have, ano to? Right? Super inner vein. And then, what's this? Right and left renal. The left suprarenal saan mapunta? Sa left renal. Okay? Eh ano naman itong itong dalawa na ito? Ano ito? Gunada. Pag lalaki? Testicular. Pag babae? Maria. And this is the right and that is the left. And this is accompanied by what's this? Okay? So the right the right suprarenal, ah, sorry, right, right gonadal is accompanied by right gonadal vein. The right gonadal artery is accompanied by right gonadal vein. And the left gonadal artery is accompanied by left gonadal vein. And the left gonadal vein, ay saan papunta? Left vena. The right saan papunta? Inferior vena, haba. Okay? So, gonadal, right gonadal sa inferior. Left, saan? Saan? Okay, left rena. Kaya nga, halimbawa, may cancer dito sa left, sa left kidney. Lalaki yun. Dadaganan yung left renal vein. So, yung dugo dito sa left testicular, ay, nahihirapan na siyang mag, magpunta doon, right? So, ang mangyayari na, if you have now here, kung lalaki ito, Okay? And then you have the scrotum. You have here the testes. And this now will be your testicular veins. Okay? So, nahihirap ako makita. Ang mangyayari dito, yung nandito sa scrotum, yung naglalakihan. So, kaya para kayo may uod doon sa itaas ng scrotum. You call that varicocele. And this, this varicocele is more prone to the left side. Okay? Dahil din, kasi ang direksyon nitong left gonadal, ganyan. Ang left rena, ganun. Magkaiba yung direksyon. Hindi ka mukha dito ng no, right gonadal at saka yung fear binang kaba, halos pareho ang direksyon nila. Kaya mas mahirap yung flow ng blood dito sa kaliwa. Kaya mas prone ang varicocele sa kaliwa kaysa sa kanan. Right? Okay. So that will be now your, your abdomen, your tongue, and if you're being a kaba. Okay. What else do you see here at the posterior abdominal wall? You see here nerves. Autonomic nerves. So there will be autonomic nerves that you see here. Ano ba yung mga autonomic nerves, class? Class, ano yung mga autonomic nerves? 
sympathetic at saka parang. Saan, saan pa lang pumunta yung autonomic nerves? Ha? Yung autonomic nerves ba? Pwede supplyan yung muscles dito. Halimbawa, itong two muscles natin sa upper extremities at saka lower. Pwede ba? Hindi. Ang magsusupply doon? Somatic nerves. Right? So, if you have here, if you have here skeletal muscle from the CNS, okay, isa lang motor neuron. Okay na yan. Magkukontract na yan. Galing sa spinal cord or galing sa sa brain, right? Isa lang. Pero kung ang effector mo involuntary or visceral, like yung smooth muscles sa blood vessels, kayong pang utusan yung smooth muscles ng blood vessels nyo, right? O kaya smooth muscles sa gastrointestinal tract, kung utusan nyo, mag-contract ka, kakain ako, mag-contract ka, right? You, you cannot do that, right? Or the cardiac muscle. Okay, nung ito ka na ng tibok ng puso, ayaw ko na. Okay. And then you have glands. Of course, you cannot, you cannot ask the glands to secrete or not secrete, right? These are visual structure, involuntary. Ang magsusupply dyan, autonomy. Okay? And that's sympathetic and para. And from CNS, brain or spinal cord, hindi pwede isa lang ganyan. Kailangan dalawang motor neurons. One is preganglionic neuron and the preganglionic fibers, and the other one is postganglionic. Para magkontrak yan. Kailangan mo dalawang motor neurons. Hindi pwede yung kamukha sa skeletal muscles, right? Pag ang preganglionic fibers, so ang CNS ay brain spinal cord, brain at saka spinal cord. Pag yung preganglionic na yan, ay galing dito sa thoracic and lumbar segment. Sympathetic yan. T1 hanggang L2. Sympathetic yan. Pag, pag ang preganglionic galing dito sa brain at saka S2, S3, S4, craniosacral, para yan. Okay? So yung mga sumasama sa cranial nerves, para yan. S2, S3, S4, para yan. Okay? That's why nga, if you have here, for example, your gut. Okay, ito na siya. Ito yung, ito yung, ito yung, ito yung, ito yung, ito yung, yung for gut, hanggang, ano? Upper half ng dun, ano? Tapos yung mid gut, lower half of dun, ano? Chechium, ilium, yon, siku, appendix, ascending colon, and then proximal two-thirds of what? Transverse. Ang parasympathetic dyan, hanggang dyan, galing sa itaas dito. Vagus. Okay? Vagus yan. Anong gagawin ng parasympathetic? Increase contraction of the smooth muscles and increase secretion of glands. Okay. Pero pag dumating na dito sa what's this? Uh, this is one third transition. Descending. Sigmo. Sigmo. Recto. Ang parasympathetic dito, dito yung nagaling. Dito. S2, S3, S4. Sacral parasympathetic. And this will make the smooth muscles contract and the gland secrete. Are you following? So, dalawang sources ng parasympathetic. It will be vagus and sacral parasympathetic. Okay? Now, if you have if you remember what you had there when you had your mediastinum, matatandaan ba niyo yung mediastinum? Ganito. And you have here your your pericardium. Tapos meron dito kayong sympathetic trunk. Di ba? Sympathetic trunk yan ganyan. Tapos may fibers na ganyan. Ang alam nun, ng T5 to T9. Greater, tatandaan lang yun? Greater splunkling. T10, T11? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, T12? Yes. Ano malaman yan? 
Ito, ang laman yan, ito. What is this? Pili na yun. Okay. Alam ba niyo kung saan pupunta yan? Sa abdomen. Okay? So, yan, papunta dito sa... See this one here? You have here abdomen yorta. And then, you have here branches from abdomen yorta. You have here... Si Pumisteri, Pumisteri. So yung mga isplantik na yan, alam ba nyo kung saan siya mag, magsisinaps? Dito sa post ng Yoni. Sympathetic. Okay? And the post ng Yoni Sympathetic, dalawa ang klase. Yung, yung iba nandito sa harapan ng Ayorta. Yung iba, pamukha nito, nasa latter side ng Ayorta or latter side ng vertebra. So you call this lateral vertebra, para vertebra, sympathetic ganglia. And these are pre vertebra, sympathetic ganglia. So you own pre ganglionic, ito siya. Nasa thoracic. Tapos, magsisinap siya dito, doon. Dito sa abdomen. Para yung axon siya, post ganglionic. At sasama siya dito sa branches ng ng silya, postal glory, para, halimbawa, sa, sa silya, pupunta yun, the sismot muscles na stoma, di ba? Upper half na doon, ano? Okay? Pupunta yun doon sa sa muscular wall, smooth, sa smooth muscles ng, ng wall niya. ano mangyayari? Balitan ng para. Decrease contraction and decrease secretion. Nakikita mo yun? So, dalawa. Yung nandito, yung pinag-aralan nyo natin, eh, pre-ganglionic yun. Pag nandito na, post-ganglionic, either nasa harapan ng aorta or nasa gilid. Okay? You have pre-vertebral at saka para-vertebral sympathetic. Post-ganglionic sympathetic fibers. So, pag tinignan nyo itong abdomen aorta, okay, you'll be seeing a lot of magulong mga fibers, okay? So, here. Okay, and then you have here. And that, okay? So, there will be a network of fibers here. And these are aortic plexuses. And these are made up of the following. It has sympathetic. It has parasympathetic. And not only that, it has visceral Afferent, like pain coming from the organs. Okay? So, ano yung sympathetic niya? Ang sympathetic niya, ano tawag dito? Pre, ano ito? Post. Yung pre, ano to? Yan, galing sa thoracic stomach meat. So, makikita nyo dito yan, nakaganon. So, ang gulo niya, di ba? Tapos, ito naman yung post. Yung axons naman niya, post-ganglionic, sasama sa branches. So, pre at saka post-ganglionic, sympathetic na kinita. Okay. Eh, yung parasympathetic naman. So, ito, pre at saka post-ganglionic. Ito naman, pre lang. Like, for example, what? Vagus. Eh, bakit ko lang post? Kasi, unlike, unlike ng sympathetic, ang, ang post-anglionic nga, nakikita mo sa labas na ganyan. Di ba? Pre-vertebral at saka lateral vertebral, nandito siya sa labas, ganyan. Ang post-anglionic para nasa loob ng gut, nasa loob ng intestine. Di ba tapos na kayo sa intestines? Natatandaan niyo yung myenteric plexuses and ganglia between inner circular muscle and outer longitudinal muscle, yun yun, para sympathetic ganga yun. Nasa loob, kaya hindi nyo siya makikita dito. Ang makikita lang yun, nagkakagulo-gulo dyan, pre and post sympathetic, at saka pre ganglonic, para. Okay? So hanggang sa splenic flexure, ano yung para? Tegus. Okay? Below that, what is that? Sacral, para, sympathetic. Okay. 
So ano laman yan? These are our parent. And this one contains what? Pain. Fibers. So ito na yung clinical condition. Okay? So, dito, makikita nyo yung mga, so nandito yung, ano to? Si uh, Gambia. Okay? Si Yak Gambia. Tapos pag kinignan niya yan, si Yak Gambia. Para siyang yung fibers niyan, kasi ganyan-ganyan, para siyang raise ng sun. Okay? So yung si Yak Gambia and the fibers, okay? Piso ko si Yak Plexus says, they look like the sun, the rays of the sun. So ang tawag niya, solar plexuses containing the ganglia which is groupings of neurons and the fibers solar plexuses and if you into meditation third ch chakra yan okay so uh, you google na lang yun okay? <laughs> so you have here what happens this one this aortic plexuses here this one contains visceral afferent right Pain. Halimbawa, mayroong terminal cancer. Gawin na natin pancreatic cancer kasi napakasakit nun, right? Okay. Paano nyo tutulungan yung pasyente? Okay? Okay? Naghihirap, naghihirap yung pasyente because of pain. Gusto nyo tulungan ka para medyo mabawasan man lang yung hirap na, na nararamdaman niya. Okay? So, ano pwede yung gawin? You can inject Analgic, uh, anesthesia layer. Analgesic drug dito sa solar nexus, sa celiac ganglia. Kasi this one contains what? Visceral afferent. Visceral afferent. That contains pain fibers coming from the visceral organs that will be going there. Okay? That will be supplied by cilia. Okay? So, you, you have what you call celiac ganglion block. Binablock nyo ang celiac ganglion. And you find that in the solar plexus. So sometimes you call that solar plexus block. Okay? So you can alleviate the pain. Okay? That is being experienced by a terminally ill conservation. Okay? So that will be now the autonomics. And then what else aside from the autonomics do you see here? You see here lymphatics. Okay? So you listen. Kasi sandali na lang ako. But then I would like you to listen. Kasi this is not being explained in the books. Okay? So, now, the smallest of all the blood vessels, you call that blood cavity. So, ito yung pinaka- ito yung pinakamaliit na blood vessel. Pangalan ng pinakamaliit? Simple squamous. Blood capillary. Siyempre, ang laman yan. Siyempre, blood, right? Siyempre naman. Ano naman, di ba pa laman yan? Okay. And the fluid there is what? Plasma. Tapos siyempre, may red blood cells. May blood cells to sa loob. Okay? And then you have here, your cells, different cells in the tissues. Siyempre, buhay yung cell na yan. Parang factory yan. May waste products because of the cellular activities. Saan siya? Ilalabas niyo doon. Waste products. Waste. Waste. At ilalabas niya yun dito sa interstitial tissue. Okay? Now, itong plasma na to, na nandito sa blood capillary, some of this will diffuse there. And becomes part of the interstitial fluid where you have the waste products poured into. Okay? So, yung interstitial fluid ay yung fluid na may, na nandagaling saan? Plasma. At tumukunta yung waste products na ginagawa ng cells activity niya. Okay? Anong magyayari ngayon sa interstitial fluid? Pupunta yun sa pinakamaliit na lymphatic capillary. So this is what? Lymphatic what? Capillary. Okay. So interstitial 
interstitial fluid na alaman-laman waste, pupunta dito sa loob ng ng lymphatic capillary. Pag nandiyan na sa loob, iba na pangalan ng fluid na yan. Ang pangalan niya, lymph. Ha? Lymph na siya. Okay? So, ito, blood, interstitial, so, punta dun yung waste product, naging lymph. This will be your lymphatic capillary. Tapos, itong lymphatic capillaries, magsasama-sama yung malaki. Okay? And when this one gets big, Okay? Lymphatic vessels. They pass through lymph nodes. These are one or more what? Lymph nodes. And this is a lymphatic organ. Ang trabaho ng lymph node ay i-filter ang lymph. I-filter niya. O may microbiome man yan. O cancer cell, i-filter niya. I-try niya. Okay? And your lymphatic capillary, lumaki na lumaki, naging lymphatic vessels. At itong along the lymphatic vessels, nandun na lymph node. Yung papunta dito sa lymph node, these are the afferent. Yung papalabas dito, you have here your efferent. Okay? You have your efferent. Saan na lang na? Here, okay. You have now here your efferent. Okay. Ito yung left So this one is what? Efferent. Ito left papalaw. And this one contains what? Lymphatic tissue. So ang dami lymphatic nodes yun. Ang dami lymphocytes na ganyan. Right? And then inside that, okay, there will be sinusoids. And these sinusoids there, you will be having phagocytic cells. Okay? Kaya yung lymph, dadan dyan. Kaya kung may microbe yung man yan, o cancer cells, okay? So, halimbawa dito, itong mga cells na yan, infected pa lang, right? Okay. So, the, you can have the microorganisms here, ang pupunta sa lymph, o kaya cancer cells. And some of the cancer cells will now be Okay? Found there in the lymphatic capillaries. So, nandito siya. Okay? Sa lymphatic vessels. Nandadaan sa lymph node. Tapos, ang gagawin naman ng mga phagocytic cells dito, it will try to kill off the, the microorganisms or the cancer cells. Para paglabas niya dito sa efferent, filter na siya. Kung um, nagtagubay siya. Okay? At habang siya ay nagiging active. Like for example, if you have here an infection, bawa, may abscess ka dito sa mukha. Okay, tapos ang punta nun, live daw dito sa sabandibro na, makikita nyo may kulani kayo, namamaga ito, kasi active siya. Itinatry niya na napatayin yung mikrobyo na nagokos ng abscess dito sa area na tinitrain niya. Okay? So, it will be filtered. And it will be richer in lymphocytes. So lang, some, some lymphocytes will be poured there. And these efferent vessels will be on the way to go to large lymphatic trunk. Okay? And so these large lymphatic trunk are of two kinds. And if you have the body, all the lymph coming from all parts of the body, except the shaded red, okay? They all pass in what you call thoracic tap. Okay? That you studied in the medicine room. Ito ay nasa likod ng esophagus. At ito ay pupunta sa junction ng left internal tubular vein and left subclavia. Okay? Left internal tubular vein. This is left subclavia vein. Ibig sabihin, yung mga karating na lymph dito sa thoracic duct dapat filter kasi yung lymph sa thoracic duct ipopor, magiging pati ng dugo na nandun sa venous circulation because it opens here at the junction to the left internal tubular vein left subclavian 
and this thoracic duct starts in the abdomen as a dilatation. You call this one cisterna highly. And the cisterna highly is found to the left of your abdominal aorta at the level of L1, L2. Nandun ang cisterna highly. Pagpakit niya, nagiging thoracic duct. Nasa likod siya ng esophagus. Okay? Dito naman sa kanan, walang thoracic duct. Ang meron dito ay right lymphatic duct. Okay? Dinidrain lahat yan. Lymph yan. Right lymphatic duct. And this one opens at the junction of the right internal jugular vein and right subclavian. Are you following? Okay. So, mula dito sa lymphatic capillary, tapos lumaki ng lumaki, naging lymphatic vessels, along the course of lymphatic vessels, may mga lymph nodes. So, yung lymph, dadaan sa lymph nodes. Ang um, one or more lymph nodes, bago pumunta sa thoracic duct o kaya right lymphatic duct. Tapos yung lymph naman doon, ipopor saan? Bloodstream. So, dapat filter siya. Okay? E paano nga kung may, ano, kung may infection, microbio, o kaya cancer, at nakarating dito sa sa left, lymphatic capillary, lymphatic vessels. Pagdating dito, may cancer cells pa rin, right? Okay? So, ang mangyayari niya, i-distribute niya sa buong katawan niya, yung cancer cells. So, you have metastasis in so many, uh, uh, remote areas there. Or if it's infection, ano mangyayari? You have infection of the blood. You have septicemia. And of course, that will be a serious condition, right? Okay. <clears throat> so, that that is important. Now, there is a condition which you call elephantiasis. Okay. So, yung yung halimbawa ay you have here your okay halimbawa you have you have the normal size like that tapos ito ang laki laki okay katagal niya ang laki laki no okay so you'll be having here a swollen okay a swollen body part the skin is second okay because of a condition affecting your your lymphatic system, okay? For example, this one, elephantiasis, there is a parasitic worm na ang taga-transmit mosquito. Kapag kayo itinaga at yung worm na yan, okay, ay nakarating dito sa thoracic duct at bumara dyan. Ano mangyayari? Yung lahat ng lymph dito sa area na yan, Okay? Imbis na umakyat, babalik kung saan siya lagi. Hanggang makarating siya dito sa lymphatic what? Kapilari, yung lymph. Hindi na makapunta dito sa large. So, this will go to interstitial tissue. And so, namamaga yung pasyente. And you call that what? Lymph. And if it's there, if it's a thoracic duct, ano kaya ang mamamaga sa kanya? Yung lower sleep is pwede bang mamaga? Yes. Right and left. And upper. Yung upper, pag thoracic duct lang. Left. Yung left upper sleep is lang only. Right? And also, ang bawa nandiyan, lalaki is broke. Mamamaga yung stool. Kung you have lymph edema there. O kaya yung breast. Okay. If you have malalaki yung breast, you have lymph edema. Okay. So, if you have, for example, naman here, you have your mamalitan. Okay. Which is the most common site of cancer among the female. Okay. And you know that 70% of the lymph coming from the mammary gland, ang punta niyan, axillary lymph nodes. Okay? 
bisikletimiz antir axilaryeler ne olur? Can most likely pupunta am cancer. Okay, if ever there is cancer in the mammary gland, most likely can. Okay? Kaya nga, kapag maliit pa lang, microscopic pa lang ang cancer. Okay? Like, like, like me, I was diagnosed as breast cancer 1994, 25 years. Okay? So what I'm trying to say is, it's not a death sentence. But the catch is, you have to de detect it early. And only the patient will be the best person to detect it early. Kasi ikaw, ikaw, kumakapa ng breast mo, ito'y maliligo pa, right? And you know what is not better the month before. Okay? It's right, right after menstruation. And so here, yung sa right side ko, it's 2 centimeters. So malaki siya, right? And uh, so, ang ginawa, okay? Ginawa, tinanggal yung, dito sa right, sa left side ko, it's microscopic. It's microscopic. So, ang ginawa lang, tinagal lang yung left breast. Nagpa-reconstruct ako ko, as kaya meron din ako. Okay. So, here, you have here your, uh, you have here your, uh, it's microscopic. So, ang ginawa niya, tinagal lang yung breast. You call that simple mastectomy. Okay? Pero doon sa kanan, malaki siya, 2 cm's. Okay? So, ang ginawa, Tinagal yung mamari gland, pero kumuha din ng axillary lymph nodes. Ang axillary lymph nodes, mga tatlong po yan, apat na po. So, kukuha siya ng mga kalahat na bawa, 15. Okay? Tapos, titignan kung nag-spread na ba yung cancer doon. Kasi ako, negative. Kaya maganda yung prognosis. Ibig sabihin, nandun lang sa mamari gland. Okay? Kasi, pag nandun na, ibig sabihin, nag-metastasize na doon. Yun ang unang pupuntahan niya usually. That's why my sister, who just died last year, may mga axillary lymph nodes. Pero wala siyang mass sa breast. But then, uh, in UP, uh, since yung mga, and it was carcinoma, it's cancer, uh, and most likely, yung magpupunta sa axilla galing sa breast, so she was treated as breast cancer. Eh, met metastatic na yon, right? Okay, sabihin nag-spread mo, wala na sa, sa, ano, sa, sa breast. Okay. So, what you do is remove this, is, and then remove samples of axillary lymph nodes. If it's negative, the better the prognosis. Okay, ang tawag doon, modified radical mastectomy. Pag tinagal lang yung breast, it's simple mastectomy. Okay. Now, if you, for example, remove, sometimes what happens is, okay, if you if you remove your your axillary lymph nodes, okay, pati yung lymph nodes na galing dito sa sa upper extremities, kumisa na tatanggal, right? Na tatanggal din, may mga parte. So what will happen is, if you have lymph nodes there, and these are aferent, pagpunta dyan, eferent. So, tinagam yung lymph node, yung mga galing dito, yung mga aferent, wala na siya pupuntahan. So, ano mangyayari sa lymph na nandito? You'll be having na mamagay itong uh, perextremities na yan. You have what? Lymph, edema. Ipalo? Okay. And there's one thing also, if you have, if you have a sample here, this one is the scrotum. And this one is the testis. Ah, this is Maria. And then you have here your abdomen aorta, hormone ilia. Okay. And then you have here your, you have now here your, your testicular. You have testicular arteries. Are you found on Walana Lamana Now, if you have, Okay. So here, 
If you have cancer, oh, meron. Okay. If you have cancer in the scrotal skin, okay, saan kayo magkakaroon ng lymph and ano yung lymph nodes na pupuntahan ng lymph na galing sa skin, sa scrotum na halimbawa may cancer siya. Itong mga lymph nodes na to ang naglalakihan at may, may spread ng cancer. Kung sa kalit. Superficial inguinal lymph nodes. These are inguinal lymph nodes. Pero, kung ang cancer na gagaling sa loob, sa testis, epidemis, okay? Itong testicular arteries na to, may kasamang, may kasamang ano? Lymphatic what? Vessels. At pupunta siya dito sa, di ba meron dito mga lymph nodes sa harapan? Pre-aortic lymph nodes. These are lumbar or lateral aortic lymph nodes. Lumbar or lateral aortic lymph nodes. Yan yung magkakaroon ng lymph dinopathy there. Okay? Hindi dito sa singe. Pag skin lang, doon siya. Pero pag testis na, at saka ovary din, kalopi tube, saka fundus na, na yun, dyan yun. Dyan, dyan mag-spread ang cancer kung meron na. Okay? Lumbar or lateral aortic lymph nodes. Are you following? So that will be your lymph nodes. Nakalimutan pa lang. Okay. What, what is this one here? Ano, ano, sympathetic yun nandito? Yung kamukha doon sa medya sinum, ano yun? These are uh, para, vertebral, sympathetic. These are lumbar sympathetic ganglia. And the lumbar sympathetic ganglia carries <coughs> sympathetic fibers for the blood vessels. Okay? Like, namawat, L2, L3, L4, namawat dito sa, ano ito? Anterior thigh, which is femoral, L2, L3, L4. Okay? <clears throat> Pag meron kayong condition na ang blood vessels nagkoconstrict o kaya may atherosclerosis, anong ginagawa para mas lumaki yung yung uh, arteries dyan sa lower extremities? Tinatanggal ito. <clears throat> you do <clears throat> lumbar sympathectomy. Pati nagkal appendix, ano pa nga na? Pinagkal ang mga maniglan, mastectomy, right? Ito, pati nagkal ang, ang lumbar sympathectomy, okay, like those that will be going to the Thigh, it's L2, L3, L4, right? Eh, nandun yung mga sympathetics na magpapakonstrict sa blood vessels doon. Okay. So, ano, pag tinanggal yun, anong mangyayari? Ano ang effect ng sympathetics sa blood? Vasoconstriction. So, ano mangyayari kung tinanggal siya? Vasodilate. Bawa dito sa thigh. Magdadilate. So, yung dugo, mas dadaloy na. Okay? What is the procedure called? Lumbar sympathetic. Okay? So, you can have vasodilation. Okay? Kasi wala nang sympathetic effect. Okay? So, this is now your posterior abdominal one. We studied your abdominal aorta and the branches. If you're in a cava, tributaries. We studied aortic plexuses with the uh, autonomics and these are afferent, afferent and saka yung lymphatics. Okay? So, class, um, it's like this. Ang first semester in both gross and micro is 40%. Ang second semester, 60%. And the main is 